Well, on a day, the new HISD superintendent is announcing his first cabinet appointments. We're talking with some of the leaders in the district about their plans to turn things around. Fox 26's Domily Keith joining us live at HISD headquarters after talking with some people. Domily. Yeah, the goal is to turn struggling schools into successful ones, and there are nine members on the board of managers who are tasked with helping to do that. These seats that sit empty will be filled by a board of managers that some in the community have concerns about because they're not elected, but in the state takeover, they've been appointed by the TEA commissioner. Who are they? We are the community. We are the very stakeholders that, that we're representing. Board of Managers members Cassandra Ozan Bandy and Jeanette Garza Lindner work, and the business professionals each have two kids attending HISD schools. I'm a parent of fourth generation HISD students, so it means everything to my family um, to be a part of driving improvement in student outcomes. I work in, in consulting in the industry, so I'm eager to, to bring that experience to this work, but you know, definitely as a mother, you know, I, I, I bring that energy of wanting to make sure that all of our kids are, are cared for and can learn. We want to see some immediate improvement in those areas, those schools that need it the most. I want to make sure that we reach, you know, especially those students, families, neighbors who haven't traditionally had a voice. So the board will host a series of town hall meetings and they're planning to knock on doors to meet as many HISD families as possible as they take on a big job that impacts not only the district, but all of Houston. We're talking about the future of our city, and these achievement gaps that children of color have is, is unacceptable, and we've got to fix that. We, you know, absolutely have to have excellent schools for all of our kids. Now, the members tell me they are already receiving emails and phone calls, and they tell me they are taking notes because they say they want parents' goals for their kids to not only be known, but to also be addressed. Reporting live at Hattie Mae White headquarters, I'm Domilee Keith, Fox 26 News.